Hey folks, it's John with KGTropicals.com, bringing you episode 5 in the ultimate guide to your first aquarium. Today's episode is a critical one. This is such an important topic that it's the third time I've talked about it in video. This is one that you're absolutely going to want to pay attention to. We're talking all about the nitrogen cycle. This is something that's overlooked by a lot of new fish keepers, so we're going to go in-depth with it. You're not going to want to miss this episode, so stay tuned. Okay, so the easiest way to explain the nitrogen cycle is like this. You're going to have fish in your aquarium, and you're going to feed your fish. Your fish are going to digest that food, and then they're going to poop. That poop is going to go down and gather in the gravel or get sucked up into your filter, and it's going to start to decay. When it decays, it releases ammonia. Ammonia is extremely toxic to fish. So how do we do this? How do we keep fish in glass boxes if all it's going to do is constantly be filled with ammonia, which kills our fish? Well, it's the nitrogen cycle that helps with that, and that's what we're going to talk about. So here's what happens. Naturally in your aquarium, you're going to have a buildup of denitrifying bacteria, or what I like to call beneficial bacteria. It's just easier to say that. This bacteria's job is to convert that ammonia to nitrite. And then it also converts the nitrite to nitrate. Nitrate is a word you've probably heard before, and it's one of the main reasons why we do water changes is to maintain nitrate levels. So this beneficial bacteria is absolutely critical to the health of your aquarium, and it's the buildup of that beneficial bacteria that is the cycling process. So when your aquarium is brand new, it has none of this beneficial bacteria. It hasn't had the opportunity to establish itself yet. So when you throw fish in there, people that buy an aquarium and they put fish in it the same day, there is nothing to combat that ammonia. It's going to happen. You can't avoid the ammonia from happening because you can't stop your fish from eating and pooping. So your tank has none of this beneficial bacteria. It has nothing to combat that ammonia. So this is why just about anybody would tell you, you do not immediately put fish in your aquarium when you first start it up. Okay, so how do we make this happen? Well, folks, this happens naturally. This is why some of your pet stores will tell you to set your tank up and let it run for a month. Now, if you're not doing anything to boost this process, it could take even longer than that. There are a few ways, though, to accelerate this process and make it happen much faster. One of the ways that some people use is to just throw food in the aquarium. There's no fish in there, but just throw food in. The food is going to break down and cause ammonia in the tank, just like your fish's waste would. And the beneficial bacteria is eventually going to grow to a point where it can combat that ammonia and convert it to nitrite. And the whole process will be accelerated because the bacteria is building up to keep up with that ammonia. Another way people do it is by putting pure ammonia in the tank. I've never done this. 23 years I've been keeping fish and I've never learned how to do the pure ammonia method because I just don't care. There's other ways of doing it. But if you want to look into that, there's plenty of articles and videos out there on how to do it. Another way is to introduce bacteria from another place whether it be the live bacteria in a bottle. They sell it at all of the pet stores, denitrifying bacteria. And you can put that in there. It will accelerate the process. I don't like immediately putting in fish like the bottle says because I don't look at it as an instant cycle. I think that's impossible. What I look at it as is a booster to the process. It's just going to make it happen faster. So don't read the bottle and think, I can just throw my fish right in. Don't do that. Another way is if you have a friend that's in the fish keeping hobby, or maybe you live really close to the pet store, talk to these people about giving you maybe an old dirty filter cartridge. The browner and scummier the better, because your filter cartridges and your filter in your tank are some of the best places for the growth of beneficial bacteria. So if you take one of those sponges, you wrap it up tight in something to keep it wet, bring it home, and shake it out into your aquarium, it's going to make your water dirty for a few hours, but it's definitely going to introduce a ton of this really good bacteria into your tank, and it'll help to speed it up a whole lot. So I think the best way to handle this from, from this part of the video forward is to answer some of the most common questions that are asked about the cycling process. I've got my list right here in front of me. I will refer to the list and answer each one of these. The first is, how long does the cycle take? 
Well, this is a hard one to answer because it's all going to depend on what you do. If you're just going to run your tank and just let nature take its course, it could take a long time. But if you're going to do some of these tricks that I just talked about to speed up the process, it might only take a couple of weeks. You never really know. A lot of it's going to depend on what you do and how big your tank is. So don't really put any kind of timetable on it. When your tank is ready, that's when it's ready. So how do you know when the cycle is done? Well, one of the first things you're going to do when you purchase your tank is you're also going to buy a master test kit. We're going to talk about that in another video. This is a kit that tests for ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. Now, when you first test your water, you're going to find that there's nothing. It's perfect. But then, through time, the ammonia is going to spike. Again, because the bacteria hasn't built up enough to combat it. So your ammonia, if you're using the API test kit, is going to be dark green. And through time, as this bacteria continues to establish itself, it's going to grow to a point where it can combat that ammonia, and it's going to bring the ammonia back down. And you're going to think, yay, but then the nitrite is going to spike. It's going to be dark purple if you're using API. And again, the bacteria will grow to a point where it can then bring that down. And when that happens, your nitrate spikes, that's what we want. In the end, when your tank is cycled, you should have no ammonia, no nitrite, and some nitrate. We're going to talk about nitrate as we move along into this series, but nitrate is something that we control. by We can add things to the tank, but we can also do water changes to control nitrate. So if the nitrate is elevated, you're not really going to wait for that to come back down naturally because of the bacteria. It's not going to do that. You have to do that. So no ammonia, no nitrite. Nitrate up, your tank is cycled. Now, we kind of touched on this a little earlier, but how can we make this faster? Again, use something nasty from your friend's aquarium or from the pet store. When I had my shop, I even had a guy who had a brand new tank, and he said it just wouldn't cycle. Was there anything I could do? I said, yeah, we used a lot of sponge filters at the shop. I went through and I squeezed out the nastiest, brownest water you've ever seen into a fish bag. And I gave him that bag. He took it home and he dumped that into his tank. It does make the water dirty, but it is a great way of introducing that bacteria because it does grow in the sponges of your filters. Sponge filters are a great place to grow beneficial bacteria. So getting something from a friend or from a pet store that you're thinking is going to hurt your tank because it's dirty and it's scummy, that is a great way of speeding up the process. And then there is the live bacteria in a bottle. All of these things work. They speed up the process. They don't make it instantly happen. Can you take the water from an already established and cycled tank and put that in the new tank? Won't that make it instantly cycle? No, because this beneficial bacteria is not in the water. It's on the surfaces, which are in the water. But you know what I mean. It's not in the water column itself. This beneficial bacteria grows on the gravel, on your decorations, on the glass, in your filter, in the sponges in your filter. That is like a cesspool for this beneficial bacteria, but not the water itself. So if you're going to take water from this tank and put it in yours and think that you're good to go, you are dead wrong and you're going to kill a lot of fish. Can I use some cheap and hardy fish to accelerate the process? Yes, you can. In fact, that's probably the most foolproof way of doing this, but you can lose a lot of these fish in the process, even if they're wearing suits of armor. Sometimes they can't keep up with that ammonia. So some people look at it as really mean to do that. And then you also have the issue of what do you do with the fish once the tank is cycled? So, but yes, it does work because you put them in there, the fish will create waste and it'll accelerate this whole process. And if the fish is hardy enough, it might be able to make it through it. And so it is a good way of doing it, but a lot of people really frown on that. So there you have it. I hope that I've been able to make a little bit more sense out of the cycling process. If you just can't get enough of this and you want to see even more videos that I've done on the cycling process, if you click right here to either of these, it's going to take you to videos that I've done in the past about the cycling process. I have talked about it in different ways, so you might pick up a thing or two that you didn't see in this video. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, Maybe you could click that like button for me. That sure would help out a whole lot. And don't 
forget to subscribe to the channel because next week we're going to be talking all about what to look for when you go and buy your first fish. This is exciting. We're coming to the end of the road here. It's going to be fun, and you're not going to want to miss next week's episode. So make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on it. Thank you so much for watching this, and I can't wait to talk to you again next week.